So here we have a starter solenoid for Ford, Chrysler, and AMC cars, maybe others. <clears throat> it's a very simple mechanism. 12 volts here connects the two large terminals together internally so that your battery power here gets connected to your starter over here. But how do they work? What do they look like inside? I'm going to find out. I've got an old one here that's clearly not working. So I'm going to take the bottom cap off. It's steel and it's got four rivets. I'm just going to drill out those rivets. So the rivets are drilled out. I'm going to take the cap off and see what's inside. Okay. Caps off. The gasket here. And then just okay. So here's what I found. We have the two connections, two main connections, with a battery connections to the starter would be. Then we have the trigger, which is this one. It's connected to a piece of copper, not really a wire, but a piece of copper, to this plunger. And when the plunger gets voltage, it moves. And it looks like it moves down. And springs and springs back into place when that voltage is removed because the electro electronic field the electromagnetic field is gone um, this one first of all this was kind of messed up I don't know if it was like that probably like that from the factory just kind of pushed in there but the spring action on this one is not that great what I think happened here is the electromagnetic coil inside is burned out so that there was no um, there was no current flow to make this thing move to connect these two terminals together so it's very very similar in a way to a gm solenoid just looks very very different there's the striker plate that makes the connection between here and here. And that down there just creates the electromagnetic field. Very interesting in that there's also a wire here that feeds in. That's not the trigger. Um, that's just a, uh, a 12 volt feed. Taking it apart even farther, this is the coil. You can see the windings in there that generate the magnetic pull on this. And then you just have a cup to seat it all in in the top. There's not really much to go wrong. This particular solenoid came out of a Studebaker I was working on that had an engine fire. I can't see anything physically wrong with it. It's not burnt inside, but the heat must have caused this to fail in any event. There are some fragile things in here, but I don't see any of them particularly damaged. So, now you know what's inside one of these. Electromagnetic coil, plunger that fits into the coil, that fits into the coil, <laughs> like that, and 
some connectors. I hope this was enjoyable. I've always wondered what was inside these. Now I know, and now you know. <laughs>